Having finally recovered its strength, Shu resumed its northern campaigns. Though forced to retreat once in order to fulfill the wishes of those who had come before, Zhang Wei refuses to give up and continues plans to attack. However, the cost of these attacks is high, and some within Shu begin to oppose them. Elsewhere, the Sima family had strengthened their hold on power in Wei. But disturbing stirrings could be seen among those who were suspicious of the Sima's stranglehold on power. Internal unrest and the continued fight against Shu. A heavy burden was pressing down on the young shoulders of the wounded Sima Shi. Our previous northern campaign ended as a disappointing failure. In order to make sure that this does not happen again, I intend to make our preparations still more airtight on this occasion. Do not listen to what Master Jiang Wei says, Lord Liu Shan. What? What are you saying, Huang Hao? Master Jiang Wei, while your mind is immersed in thoughts of war, what do you think is happening to Xu? Were it not for me, law and order within the kingdom would have collapsed completely, and Lord Liu Chan would have been greatly inconvenienced. I do not believe ignoring the tenets of good governance and causing problems for one's ruler are the qualities of a loyal retainer. But I have inherited the Prime Minister's grand dream of eliminating Wei. It is my duty as a loyal retainer to bring that dream to reality. It is also a necessity if we wish to build a land of virtue. Every battle we engage in makes our land weaker and poorer. Do you wish for Emperor Liu Shan to live his life like a mere peasant? You must stop this quarreling, both of you! Zheng Wei, I appreciate your commitment. But Huang Hao is right. I do not want to make the people live a life of abject poverty. Is there not some other way? I will simply do what I must as a loyal retainer. Huang Hao, you must do the same. If each of us demonstrates wholehearted commitment to our cause, then the land will be fine. <laughs> How dare you talk of loyalty? You don't know the meaning of the word. Lord Liu Chang, we have received reports that the Wei commander Sima Shi has died. His brother, Sima Zhao, is to take over in his stead. My lord, this is our chance. We must resume the northern campaign. Master Jiang Wei, not this again. First of all, hardly any time has passed since the previous campaign. It is true that our preparations are not exactly complete, but... At Mount Tai Long, we claimed victory after forcing Sima Zhao into a corner. If he is leading the enemy forces this time, we should still have a good chance of victory, even without perfect preparation. Hmm. You seem... like you are in an awful hurry, Zhang Wei. Why must you do this? So soon. Compared to Wei and Wu, we are still weak. If Wei attacks and takes over Wu, they will become far too large for us to ever stand against them. It is imperative that we use every chance we have to chip away at their strength. That is why we must fight. If we are stronger, then the lives of our people will be richer and more prosperous. 
Surely that is the greatest gift we can give the people. I see. If you say that this will improve the lives of the people, then I must have faith in you. May fortune smile upon you on the field of battle. I await your report of good news. Lord Liu Chen, you must not believe a word he says. How will war make the country more prosperous? It will only bring more suffering and hardship. There will be no time or money for banquets or games. Huang Hao, Lord Liu Chen has given his order. You must prepare the castle for war. That is an order from myself, your army's commander. Gah. Just as I suspected, Wei is in considerable turmoil. Their numbers are significantly fewer than last time. This will be our greatest chance. But we have fewer troops than before as well. Even Lady Yue Ying and Master Ma Dai were ordered by Master Huang Hao to concentrate on administrative issues in Chengdu and couldn't come with us. And while the enemy may not have great numbers, their defenses look solid. With such a defensive-minded formation, it'll be difficult to use any surprise attacks. It'll take some time, but we have little choice but to take down each base one at a time. Yes. On top of that, we are far from home. We must reach Chunsung before our provisions run out. Everything is arrayed against us, but this is far from an unwinnable battle. I am expecting great things from you all. For our ultimate goal, we must take down Chen Sung. We will defeat Sima Zhao and expel the Wei forces from this territory. All right, so welcome back, everyone. We are doing a second northern campaign in this chapter. Um, I think this is technically the third northern campaign. Not quite sure. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Um, let me, definitely let me know in the comments below what Northern Campaign this is. But this time we are facing Sima Zhao instead of Sima Shi. And we have less troops than in the battle before. So let's see how this battle plays out now. And we keep leveling up right here which is awesome. The more we level him up, the more stamina we get, the more speed we get. Alright, so first we gotta defeat Shen Tai and defend Mount Qi. Or is it Mount Qi? I don't know. It's one of them. Oh, found Chen Tai. Taking him out already. Take this place, and the shoe camp is exposed. Crush them before they rally. Too late, I already rallied. Victory is ours. 
And we did it already. All right, let's go defend the battle. You are unstoppable. So we're gonna go defend Mount Wu Cheng. Wu Cheng. I'm really bad at these Capturing names. the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Uh, we're gonna go help them defend the battlefront base. If we leave this place be, we will end up paying the price later. We had better take it now. It's a lot of engineers. What the hell are we doing with all these engineers? That's what I want to know. No, our siege weapons are not broken. I had my chance, and I couldn't take it just when Master Jiao needed me the most. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Alright, real quick, before we continue, I forgot, I've grown a bunch of levels, so let's get more up. Okay. Victory is ours! Our siege weapons are working again. Hmm. Alright, let's go defeat. Wow. Jean a certain aura that surrounds great warriors. Being so strong is nice. There are many out there who aren't. <laughs> you just don't give up, do you? They just played right into their trap. The enemy has circled around us. Lord Jonghui's taunting failed. I am the chosen one. It is not right that you should have Wow. Wow. That is like a lot of stuff that's going on right there. Oh, what's this nonsense about being the chosen one and stuff? I have lost my place and been forced to flee. How dare you smear mud on the fine name of Zhang Wei? Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Victory is ours. Hold on, because there was like Wow. You oh, that okay. aura that surrounds great warriors. I didn't even know that was for crouching and stuff. I was just like, okay. 
Being so strong is nice. There are many out there who aren't. See, we don't use doors. We don't use gates, doorways, nothing. We just go right out and go right over the battlements. to its defense. Alright, so now we gotta go defeat Dong Ai. I just love this, how I spawn inside here, it's great. Too bad you've been wiped out. See, I don't usually capture these bases, but I mean, I'm here now. We need to go defeat Sumi Zhao, who's positioned at Chensung. Our provisions seem to be holding. Just kidding, I really don't know. Let's take these guys out. Why the hell not, right? Too many of them! 
We can't fight through this. Yeah, we can. Look at this. Look at that. We're we're already breaking through. I did not expect to fall at this hurdle. Jow, I leave the rest to you. Now we counterattack. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Lord Jia Chung has been defeated. Send troops. Don't let the shoe advance! Draw the enemy reinforcements out. And then weaken their defenses. Like Victory really. Is ours. <laughs> that was quite a spectacle. Truly amazing. There's no way to break through. Yeah, there is. There's always a way to break through. Going over mountains and everything, and we're ending this battle real quick. And jump! I'm gonna end this battle real quick. <clears throat> All right. I need everyone to defend this area. will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! I have an idea. How about the I open the gate? My brothers died. I guess I can't afford to moan and complain anymore. Huh. Come on in! Come on in, my friends! Will weaken the enemy Let's greatly. charge the enemy. All units march. Being so strong is nice. There are many out there who aren't. Got him. Do 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 do. We're just going on a friendly stroll. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! Now I'm just going on a friendly stroll through the enemy camp. Don't mind me. We're just going to head on over here. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! <laughs> I just had to smack him and run away. <clears throat> Juan. Juan. So we're gonna start calling you. We're gonna start calling you Juan. Huh. 
Alright. I need everyone to defend this area. Sumi Zhao, please stop. I'm kind of busy. Boom! All right, we got him. up for me here, but I've done enough. Sima Zhao has retreated, but our own casualties are significant. I do not think we can pursue them any further. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. You are unstoppable. Why can we not ever? We somehow managed to take Chen Sung, but our provisions have almost reached rock bottom. If the enemy attacks again, there's no way we'll be able to defend it. If we could somehow get provisions sent from Chengdu, that would solve our problems. But I suppose everyone there has their hands full with administrative issues. I had thought that with Sima Zhao in charge, things would be easier, but... If we stay here, we will simply end up incurring greater losses. The whole thing will have been a disaster. Our only choice is to withdraw. Inform the troops. Damn, we're always withdrawing. I underestimated my enemy and have brought disgrace on my kingdom's name. Prime Minister, I ask you to rebuke me from the heavens for my foolishness. Well, like, that's the thing. We've taken more territory, though. So, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. So this campaign north was not satisfactory either, it seems. Please forgive me, Lord Liu Chang. But next time, I will be successful. Next time, huh? Zheng Wei. Why do you continue to make these offensive campaigns to the north? How? How can you ask that of me, my lord? Lord Liu Bei and the Prime Minister wanted to defeat Cao Wei. The officers and troops are fighting. The commoners are working in order to achieve that goal. And you ask me why? No, that's not what I mean. I was just trying to say... Our campaign to the north will be very successful. My dear Lord, please do pray for our victory. Damn. Lord Liu Chan. It's all right, Shin Sai. I'm just not good at expressing exactly how I truly feel. Continuing a fight that hurts the people for the sake of a dream. I cannot help but feel beyond awful about the situation. What are we doing? I cannot help but wonder where we are headed with all of this. The failure of our latest northern campaign was a direct result of my own folly. I have taken responsibility for this by demoting myself from Grand General to the rank of Rear General. Huh. I believe you claimed victory was in our grasp. What happened? I would thank you to refrain from threatening the security of our lives here in the castle any further. 
Master Huang Hao, why is it that you seem so concerned with the quality of life in the castle? Lord Liu Chen is the Emperor of Shu, our leader in all things. The quality of life enjoyed by the leader of any state is the greatest indication of the prosperity of that state. A certain level of luxury is essential to prove to outsiders the strength of the Kingdom of Shu. Really? Is an emperor's job simply to live a life of luxury? I don't recall Lord Liu Bei doing that. Master Jugo Liog never said anything of the sort to Lord Liu Chan either. Th this is how I feel on the matter. I don't have to stand here and be argued with. Then leave. Everyone, I would like to hear from Zhang Wei. So, what is it you intend to do next? I intend to prepare meticulously in order to assure ourselves of victory in this final northern campaign. <sighs> final? Why do you say that? Because this time, we will claim victory and end way. All previous campaigns involved us attacking in increments, being sure to secure each base along the way. But I now realize that victory is impossible fighting like that. For this final campaign, we will employ all our forces and strike directly at the enemy main camp. That is why our preparations must be flawless and the strategies employed perfect, because this will be our final effort. Lies! He says this is the last time, but if he fails, he is sure to carry on. Besides which, what gives you the idea that you could achieve what Master Zhuge Liang never could? The Prime Minister put his life on the line in the battle on the Ujung Plains. With a little more time, victory would have been ours. If I do the same, and determine that this is our final campaign, if we attack with everything we have, body and soul, then we will win! Jiang Wei, I want you to make me a promise. This must be the last time. I want you to guarantee that you will end this war with Wei. My lord! Guarantee? How can he do any such thing? The Wei Emperor, Cao Mao, has been slain by Sima Zhao. This internal conflict provides us with our perfect opportunity to attack Wei. This will be the end of it all. The battle against the kingdom where I grew up. I have to give my all and fight so that I have no regrets. I feel like we're carrying the dreams of so many on our shoulders. Master Jugo Liang, the young master. We must be the ones to build a land of virtue. Let's do this! The northern campaign my lord husband could never complete. It now falls to us to do it in his stead. When I first fought alongside my father and brothers, our enemy was the Wei army. We were defeated that day, and lost so much. But we will not lose again. I do not believe Lord Liu Chan desires any more conflict. In which case, we must make this the final battle. We must achieve all that Father and Master Liu Bei dreamed of. Come, everyone! This land will bear witness to our final day of reckoning! Alright everyone, that's where I'm gonna end this, this right now. The final expedition of our northern campaign. We must use every last ounce of strength we have. Alright, so next time we pick up, 
we're gonna start off here on our last final northern campaign. Thanks for watching.